Okay, hi YouTube, this is Darnak again. Hi. And as you all see from like four videos ago, I'm going to try to go over Ann Coulter's post that she has. And with me is the gracious Father Graceful, also known as Violently Graceful. Hello, everyone. So, uh, yeah, uh, if anybody paid attention to that video where Agent of Doubt was in and so was Watcher of Zazzle, uh, I lost it. I couldn't speak. I was just pissed. But me and Violently Graceful are going to try to get, get through this. Uh, so, uh, since Violently Graceful is a much better reader than I am and doesn't have the monotone voice that I have, he's going to read this uh, paragraph by paragraph, and we're going to critique it. Uh, Violently Graceful? Okay. So, the, the article is titled, Cop Killer is Media's Latest Baby Seal. For decades, liberals tried persuading Americans to abolish the death penalty using their usual argument, hysterical sobbing. Um. Oh, I already feel getting pissed off because I know what's coming up, but... Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, do you think that the... Uh, that the liberals are using hysterical sobbing to try to end the death penalty? No. No. What do you think liberals are trying to use to end the death penalty? Uh, illustrating that it's less expensive to have someone locked up for life than to kill them, and the death penalty is not an effective deterrent. Okay. I would also go with what just happened uh, an hour and uh, 19 minutes ago by our counting where Troy Davis was just executed and there was a lot of evidence showing that he was most likely not the person that committed the crime. Yeah. You can't exactly take back killing them, can you? No. But, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go on with the second paragraph. Only when the media began lying about innocent people being executed did support for the death penalty begin to waver, falling from 80% to about 60% in a little more than a decade. Silver lining. That's still more Americans than believe in man-made global warming. The way this is phrased, it can almost be interpreted that Ann Coulter is saying that people believing in man-made global warming is a good thing. I don't know what her stance is, is on man-made uh, global warming that has um, contributed to the climate change. So I'm pretty sure she denies it. Oh, okay, that wouldn't surprise me. But... Only when the media began lying about innocent people being executed. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. my goodness. Like, like the media was lying about uh, the Texas state official who was investigating into someone who had been sentenced to death. And Rick Perry deliberately impeded the investigation by firing them. Yes, yes, you know, that case, and I can't think so, of So yes, Rick Perry wanted to prevent them from lying about it, that's why he fired them. We have plenty of cases, Miss Ann Coulter, of people that have been executed, that have been murdered by the state, that later it showed that they were innocent of the crime. Let's right. go, go with the next paragraph. 
But unless members of the public are going to personally review trial transcripts... Oh, you, you skipped every, one. You skipped one. We're at, I did. We're at 59% of Americans. Oh. 59% of Americans now believe that an innocent man has been executed in the last five years. Which is true. Sorry. There is more credible evidence that space aliens have walked among us than that an innocent person has been executed in this country in the past 60 years, much less the past five years. Yes, everybody. And culture has said that there is more credible evidence that space aliens have walked among us than innocent people that have been executed in the past five years. Right. Oh my goodness, the levels of fail. Yep. Oh. Pe people being executed means that they're guilty. Come on. No. No, that doesn't mean that. There, there's jury members that, um, of, 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 uh, Davis that said that, uh, if they knew then what they know now about, about, um, things about that trial, that they would not have given him the death penalty. Doesn't matter. They already made their decision. You like playing devil's advocate, don't you? Yep. Oh my goodness, okay. So, he was not innocent because they said he wasn't when he was convicted. What they say later doesn't matter. Alright, you want to go to the next one? Okay. Uh, but, unless members of the public are going to personally review trial transcripts in every death penalty case... They have no way of knowing the truth. The media certainly won't tell them. Oh my goodness. When it's presented to the public that... Um, when it's presented to the public that new information is released about a trial, about lying that happened during the trial, about misinformation that happened during the trial, about witnesses that were not called during the trial, um, about people recanting their testimony years later. And not just, you know, a couple, but the greater majority of the witnesses recanting their testimony years later. Uh, when you have psychiatrists that were at the, the, the trial saying that black men are more prone to commit violent crimes and then later retracts that uh, because it was racist and that guy was actually fired, that should call into question the trial itself. Nope. The, ju the, the, the justice system already worked. You're going to play devil's advocate for the rest of this, aren't you? <laughs> you are. And, um... Now, okay. Ann Coulter is implicating herself here because she's a member of the media. So by being a member of the media, she wouldn't tell us if uh, we don't know the truth about a murder trial, do we? You have to remember she's she's a conservative, right? Or a right-wing nut, so of course she's going to say that. Right. She's one of the good ones. Right. Even though she is a member of the media. But okay. Okay. Uh, going on. It's nearly impossible to receive a death sentence these days. Unless you do something completely crazy, like shoot a cop in full view of dozens of witnesses in a Burger King parking lot, only a few hours after shooting at a passing car while exiting a party. Okay. The the nine p okay she's she's talking about the Troy Davis trial, right? There was nine witnesses. Seven of them recanted their stories because they said that they were pressured by the police to say certain things. Out of the two remaining, one of them was the next prime suspect. Two, 
the gun was never found. Three, there was no DNA testing done. Of course, this was 1989, but there was no fingerprints found. Right. All right, moving on. Oh, That's you don't... what Troy Davis did in August 1989. Davis is the media's current baby seal of death row. Oh, you cunt bitch. After a two-week trial with 34 witnesses for the state and six witnesses for the defense, the jury of seven blacks and five whites took less than two hours to convict Davis of Officer Mark McPhail's murder, as well as various other crimes. Two days later, the jury sentenced Davis to death. And you are also not saying that uh, the defense, which was... The, the defense counsel was um, was given to him by the state because he could not afford his own counsel and that and that, that counsel left stuff out of the trial. Now, a brisk 22 years after Davis murdered Officer McPhail, his sentence will finally be administered this week barring any more of the legal shenanigans that have kept taxpayers on the hook for Davis' room and board for the past two decades. Oh my goodness. You are one heartless bitch, Ann Cutler. You really are. Well, yeah, you know, if, if Ann Coulter uh, had her way, he would have been executed on the spot. Oh my goodness! As you know, as I take him uh, outside the courthouse and hang him. Seriously. Agent, I think Agent of Doubt is right. If you cut her, she won't bleed because she doesn't have any blood in her. All right. What's the next line? Right. Uh, the average time on death row is fourteen years. Then liberals turn around and triumphantly claim the death penalty doesn't have any noticeable deterrent effect. As the kids say, duh. Oh my goodness. So again, you know, Ann Coulter is saying, you know, if we kill people right away, that would be an effective deterrent. Okay, then explain this to me, Ann Coulter. Why is it that the states that execute the most people have the most violent crimes, i.e. murder. You know, just, you know, you want to explain that? If no. the death penalty is such a deterrent, why do these states not have the least amount of murders or the least amount of crimes? Because they need to kill more. I am so glad that that you're not a uh, a right wing nut. I am glad that you're not a right wing nutball, violently graceful. I really am. Thank you. It has been claimed in the New York Times and Time Magazine, for example, that that there was no physical ev evidence concerning David connecting Davis to the crimes that night. Okay, uh, that's true. So far, all sources have have reported that there was no physical evidence linking him to this crime. Right. Davis pulled... Oh, shoot, my thing is scrolling. Davis pulled out a gun and shot two strangers in public. What physical evidence were they expecting? Uh, no how the gun? To, yeah, the gun would 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 be nice. The gun would be you know really really good. You know, uh, no houses were broken into, no cars stolen, no rapes or fist fights accompanying the shooting. Where exactly would you look for DNA? And to prove what? Oh my goodness. How about the gun with his fingerprints on it and gunpowder 
that could be traced to the bullets from that gun. How about that? Yeah, that would be something. Oh, this friggin' hurts. This friggin' hurts. Are we almost done with this? I don't no. think so. Alright, you can continue reading. I suppose it would be nice if the shell casings from both shootings that night matched. Oh, wait, they did. That's physical evidence. There is nothing linking the gun to Davis. Nothing linking them. Right. In fact, the... Can you give me a few minutes? I'm sorry, my mom called called me for something. Um, okay. Also, the gun that they were talking about, the thirty-eight caliber, is the same make and model that the other suspect, which testified against against Davis, owned. But somehow, his gun mysteriously disappeared that night. Just like the murder weapon disappeared. Yes. Alright. It's true that the bulk of the evidence against Davis was eyewitness testimony. That tends to happen when you shoot someone in a busy Burger King parking lot. And seven of the nine recanted their stories. Right. Um, eyewitness testimony, like all evidence tending to show guilt has gotten a bad name recently. But the eyewitness testimony in this case did not consist simply of strangers trying to distinguish one tall black man from another. For one thing, several of the eyewitnesses knew Davis personally. They recanted their stories. Doesn't matter. So, let's keep going. Uh, the, the bulk of the eyewitness testimony established the following. Two tall young black men were harassing a vagrant in the Ver uh, Burger King parking lot, one in a yellow shirt and the other in a white Batman shirt. The one in the white shirt used a brown revolver to pistol whip the vagrant. When a cop yelled at them to stop, the man in the white shirt ran, then wheeled around and shot the cop, walked over to his body and shot him again, smiling. Some eyewitnesses described the shooter as wearing a white shirt, some said it was a white shirt with writing, and some identified it specifically as a white Batman shirt. Not one witness said the man in the yellow shirt pistol whipped the vagrant or shot the cop. Several of Davis's friends testified, without recantation, that he was the one in a white shirt. Several eyewitnesses, both acquaintances and strangers, specifically identified Davis as the one who shot Officer McPhail. <laughs> then it says, now the media claim that seven of the nine eyewitnesses against Davis at trial have recanted. So I guess Ann Coulter is insinuating that they're now lying? I guess so. I... Anne, Anne Coulter, which I doubt that you will ever see this video, ever. And even if you do, you'll probably just laugh it off in your smug way. That, that well, let's keep going. Uh, first of all, the state presented 34 witnesses against Davis, not 9, which should give you some idea of how punctilious the media are about their facts in death penalty cases. Those nine were the nine supposedly eyewitness. Right. Don't let that get in the way. You know. uh, among the witnesses who did not recant a word of their testimony against Davis were three members of the Air Force who saw the shooting from their van in the Burger King drive-in lane. Okay. So because <coughs> they're members of the Air Force, that makes them special, right? Um, the airmen who saw events clearly enough to positively identify Davis as the shooter explained on cross-examination, you don't forget someone that stands over and shoots someone. Uh, 
Oh, oh this is God. good. Uh, recanted testimony is the least believable evidence since it proves only that defense lawyers managed to pressure some witnesses to alter their testimony Excuse conveniently me. after the trial has ended. Excuse me, what about all of the case files that we have of, of police intimidating witnesses into giving specific testimonies and also bullying suspects in, in their eyes of pleading guilty to a crime? And it says, even criminal lobbyist Justice William Brennan ridiculed post-trial recantations. Uh, and who is that? the name drop here? I don't know. I don't know who, who that is. No. No. Nope. And it's really not explained other than a criminal lobbyist justice. Okay. Three recantations were from friends of Davis making minor or completely unbelievable modifications to their trial testimony. For example, one said he was no longer sure he saw Davis shoot the cop, even though he was five feet away at the time. His remaining testimony still implicated Davis. Okay, so, gonna, okay what about the other ones? And he, that is if he was supposedly five feet away. Right. So, b because he was five feet away, um, he must have seen what was going on, therefore he's now lying. Now, now then, that was back in 1989. Did this person say how far away they actually were? Or were they told to say that they were five feet away back in 1989? I don't know. Um, one alleged recantation from the vagrant's girlfriend, since deceased, wasn't a recantation at all, but rather reiterated all relevant parts of her trial testimony, which included a direct identification of Davis as the shooter. I'm gonna have it to would leave. be nice if you know, the actual recantations were cited here so yes. her readers could read them. Yes, that, that because, would be really nice. Yeah, because otherwise simply have to take Ann Coulter at her word. And uh, given the way this article started, I'm not likely going to do that. Not at all. Continuing, uh, only two of the seven alleged recantations out of 34 witnesses <coughs> recanted anything of value. And those two affidavits were discounted by the court because Davis refused to allow the affiants to testify at the post-trial evidentiary hearing, even though one was seated right outside the courtroom waiting to appear. I would like to see your citation for that, right. and, and Coulter. I really would. Because as Violently Graceful said, said the, way that you, the way that you started out this article makes it highly unlikely to believe anything else in it. Yeah. Uh, let's see, the court specifically warned Davis that his refusal to call his only two genuinely recanting witnesses would make their affidavits worthless, but Davis still refused to call them, suggesting, as the court said, that their lawyer-drafted affidavits would not have held up under cross-examination. Why make that assumption? Yes. Why? With death penalty opponents so fixated on Davis's race, he's black, it ought to be noted that all the above witnesses are themselves African American. The first man Davis shot in the car that night was African American. Excuse me, allegedly because there's no evidence pointing to, no actual physical evidence pointing to that case. He was never charged with that case. Oh my gosh, you, you, whoa. Cunt. Then, Sorry. Uh, I notice that the people so anxious to return this sociopathic cop killer to the street don't live in his neighborhood. Uh, excuse really? me. Excuse me. Would you like to watch the live coverage? You know, I'm sure that somebody recorded the entire live coverage of Democracy Now. You know, uh -huh. you know, they were there for like five hours. To conclude, 
There's a reason more than a dozen courts have looked at Davis's case and refused to overturn his death sentence. He is as innocent as every other executed man since at least 1950, which is to say, guilty as hell. And the way that you fucking end this, you cunt bitch. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, like, again, you know, uh, additional developments in the case do not matter. No, not at all. Not to people like her. No? No. Not at all. It's like, ha hang the bastard. You know? Well, what if they were actually innocent? Well, the court would have found out, you know, if they were innocent. Because our, 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 our system is not fucking perfect. It's proven not to be perfect. That doesn't matter. You know, Ann Coulter, <laughs> you know, I, I may get in trouble making an extrapolation here, but uh, Ann Coulter uh, w would probably appreciate um, some of the, the surplus population being killed off, given the way that she thinks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, seriously. No, like, we, we might as well go back to people being hung, drawn, and quartered in public <coughs> immediately people, after trial. People like her <coughs> push people into believing that the New World Order is real. And I know that I used to think that, that uh, they were real for a couple of years. I... There, there is evidence showing that people in high political and social power structures do control a lot of what goes on politically, economically, and socially. But to the extent, extent that people like Alex Jones puts it, it's not like that. So, wh why do people take Ann Coulter seriously? I, I don't know. I, I have no clue. You know, this girl right here, everybody. This girl wrote this article. This article will be linked. Seriously, who who's the sociopath? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No lie. The first time I tried reading this, I got up from my computer and I went for a walk because I just I I, I couldn't take it. I I I got to the part about uh, about more credible ev evidence for space aliens and I was just livid as you saw in my first video right oh my goodness um, do you have anything else to add to this before I stop the recording not really other than uh, it's like don't don't read Ann Coulter uh, uh, unless you want to uh, Expose yourself to, to a world of pain. Oh man, she hurts. She hurts a lot. Everybody, have a good one.